Good morning, Coyotes. Today is Monday, May 18, 2015. I'm Olivia Nash. And I'm Mylene Griego. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for the moment of silence. Can I just say how glad I am that AP testing is finally over? I know, I'm, I'm not in any AP classes, but most of my friends are, and like the whole week they've been stressed out, so it's, we can all go back to normal. <laughs> right, I understand what you mean. I'm so happy that we have our bells back. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to start off by saying congratulations to Kene Nuangu for getting second in the high jump. This is his second time in a row getting a medal at state. We'd also like to congratulate Bryn Allen, Jimena Marino Gomez, Lauren Llewellyn, Tanya, Tanya Masike, Stephanie Morse, Sanjana Sandeep, and our very own Jessica Hardy for making the yearbook editorial board. As well as Arsha Armit, Elena Benson, Kaylee Daniel, Alice Delaney, Lena Elian, Diamond Farmer, Abby Federo, Jansen Jevajobi, Kaylee Kalowski, and Maddie Ladd. Mallory McGruder, Alex Meeling, Bella Mendiola, Zara Phillips, Tricia Rivera, Garrett Smith, Jonah Strauss, Millennia Watkins, Taylor Wright, and Talissa Wright for making your book staff. The High Steppers will be having a spirit night tomorrow at Chipotle on Preston from 5 to 8. Also, if you haven't seen on Twitter already, the 2015-2016 High Stepper officers and sergeants have been announced. Congratulations to Sergeants Sarah Hazley, Catherine Doe, Caitlin Soto, Miranda Delith and Head Sergeant Kennedy Harris. And officers Lily Tattoo, Maddie Lacombe, Cass Aryata, Alex Gorman, and Carly Garrett. Congratulations to you all. The makeup date for the Coyote Clash is this Thursday, May 21st at 5 p.m. All teams must re-register today by midnight by going to hhscoyotetouchdownclub.com. Team captains need to go to the website to review the new rules. If you have any questions, please talk to Coach Hendricks or Coach Hicks. Don't forget that the Chess Club has a meeting every Friday afternoon from 4.15 to 5.15. I heard it's pretty fun and they usually have snacks. Now that you mentioned snacks, do you like popcorn, Eileen? I love popcorn. Well, then you're in luck because BPA will be selling popcorn for their fundraiser for $2. They're practically flying out of Miss Burke's room, <laughs> C-118. They have all sorts of flavors like white cheddar, caramel, and this actually looks really good. <laughs> Vanilla, or otherwise rainbow, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, salsa, and kettle corn. Sorry guys, make sure to go, get, make sure to go buy some of that popcorn because it's really delicious. I know I'm gonna buy some popcorn. <laughs> The National Honor Society meeting is on Wednesday at 8.20 a.m. and at 4.20 p.m. in Miss Millhouse's room B114. NHS officer applications will be available at both meetings. Please remember to be on time. Speaking about being on time, all library books are due back to the library by this Friday, May 22nd. If you've somehow lost or possibly damaged your book, then make sure to turn in your fees. Again, the due date is May 22nd. You don't want to have to pay for lost books. Yeah, so make sure to turn in those books. Today, boys soccer will be having a parent meeting in the lecture hall at 6 p.m. Tonight will also be senior award night in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Well, remember to follow us on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV. We follow back, and our goal is to have 300 followers by the end of this week, so make sure to follow us on our awesome Twitter page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Coyote Nation TV. Also, check out packpage.org to see any of the stories we've covered so far. 
That's all we have for you today, Coyotes. I'm Eileen Grego. And I'm Olivia Nash. And, and you, you stay, stay classy, classy coyotes. coyotes. The one popcorn fell on the ground. <laughs>